how to properly groom your golden doodle. Let's get into it. So before I start this process, let me just explain. I am by no means a professional groomer. I'm not some insanely fancy groomer. I just give them cuts that make them look, in my opinion, really good and get the job done. So I'm not gonna do any shorter on this side, shorter on that side. Honestly, I do the same guard all over which is a six millimeter guard. It goes all over their body. And then I go a little bit shorter on their stomach right here. So that's the only time that I go a little bit shorter. And then on the head, I do the exact same length and then I'll cut, I'll scissor around the face. So I'm gonna explain to you and show you how to do that. Now, before you do any cutting with clippers, if your dog is any type of matted or anything like that, it's not gonna work or it's not gonna go as smoothly. Um, and then you'll have to go shorter with a shorter um, blade, or not a shorter blade, but with a shorter guard or probably no guard and shave it off. People take their golden doodle to the groomers and then they end up getting shaved and they're like, oh my gosh, my groomer is so bad. They shave the dog. No, no, no. It has nothing to do with the groomer. It has something to do with you. You probably didn't brush your dog and the dog ended up being matted. And when the dog ends up being matted, there's not much you can really do because the clippers can't cut through that. I don't care how nice of clippers you have, they can only cut through so much and most mats it can't cut through. So that being said, if it does have maybe a few mats, it's okay. You can use a dematting comb and go through it, but there's a limit. If it, the dog is completely matted, you can't just groom through all that or maybe cut certain spots out. It's easier just to completely shave the dog, let it grow back. The hair will grow back, you'll be fine. It happens and then you just restart and hopefully you will learn your lesson. But what we're gonna do is you basically start by brushing fully with a slicker brush and then you're gonna go back with a comb and you're gonna make sure that everything is fully brushed out. So she's not fully brushed out yet, so I'm gonna do that right now. And then after is when we'll actually start the process of actually giving the dog a haircut. Now that being said, she is fully um, brushed out or at least fully brushed out for me as much as I really need to give her a good cut. Um, she is about to have puppies in about a month. So um, I'm not gonna give her a, she's already got a somewhat short cut. I'm just gonna give her a little bit of a shorter cut um, so that she'll be good to go when she does have puppies in about four-ish, three, four, maybe five weeks. Um, but this is also Cali for people wondering. Now, that being said, I have a lot of people come to me to get puppies from me and they're like, Oh my gosh, I just wanna let my dog's hair grow out, be super long, fluffy, and everything like that. And that's really cool, and I love to do that with all my dogs that have puppy coats because a puppy coat is just so much easier to take care of. But when they get that adult coat, it for some reason seems just to get matted up a lot easier and a lot faster. So this is honestly, in my opinion, the perfect length because it's long enough to still be obviously long and just like super fluffy and, and fun to pet but it's also not too long to where it gets super matted up every five seconds and it's like a full-time job trying to keep the dog not matted. Now, if you wanna let your dog grow its hair out um, when it's an adult, that's okay, but you gotta understand it's gonna be like a full-time job to keep that dog mat free. There's a lot of work that's put into keeping a golden doodle's coat super long. So I personally don't wanna to have to sit at home 24 seven and brush my golden doodles. So I choose to keep them in a little bit of a lower cut. Um, and I call this the teddy bear cut, which basically is just a full, uh, the same length all over. And then I just scissor right around the eyes and I'll show you basically how I do it. Whenever I start, I usually just kinda of like to work on the body, get the legs, and then I'll do the face last. So let's get the body cut and go from there. Now another thing that I found works best for me is to use metal guards instead of plastic guards. I found that with the plastic guards, they just get caught up in the Golden Doodle's hair um, and it can just really get caught and it just makes it really annoying. But with the metal guard, I found that this works just really good. It's super strong. They don't really get messed up and they go through the dog's hair super easy. This is a six millimeter guard um, and I just felt this is probably the best length for my dogs, so this is what I use. Now, if it's not going smoothly down, then you probably have some mats, you probably have some problems. So it should never be hung up or anything like that. 
Um, it does, I have found that it does tend to mat up pretty quickly on right here, just I guess from the dogs laying on their sides and stuff like that. So it's very important whenever you're brushing your dog to make sure that you're getting this, this area and right in their armpits on both sides of the dog. Um, it's very important to do that. But if you're ever going down when you're cutting and it's getting hung up, getting hung up, you've probably got a few mats there. You either need to take the dematting comb and go through and get all the mats out or you need to shave the dog. That's basically the two options. If the dog's too matted, there's no option of just dematting the whole thing. You can't do it. You're gonna have to shave the dog. But um, if it's just a few little mats, a few little hangups, you shouldn't have a problem. You can kind of just work through it and get it. But this is kind of the process. Don't go too, too fast. I try not to speed through everything, but sometimes I have tendencies to do it, but try to take things pretty slow. You can go over spots a few times if you have to. If your dog is being properly brushed and combed out, it shouldn't be a super hard process. Um, but if your dog is not being, trust me, it could take hours to fully groom a dog. So it's very important to make sure your dog is not getting matted so that this process doesn't take forever. We just, I just like to go over it over and over and over and again and maybe go a little slower just to make sure that I got every single piece of hair. As you can see, it kind of feels good. She's like, We'll need a little belly scratch. But um, it's also nice to have well-bred dogs and have really good temperaments. Even when she was a little puppy, never have had to put a little leash on her to hold her on the table, nothing like that. This is actually not even a grooming table, it's just a normal foldable table. And all my dogs basically just sit on it, no problems at all. You don't need to tie them up or anything like that. Now most dogs, you do have to tie them up because they're not gonna just sit here for you. But if you have pretty good, well-behaved dogs that are well-trained, you won't have these problems. Now, that also being said, she's never been trained to sit like this or just let you do this to her. Um, you know, I mean, she's had the very basics of training when it comes to just sit, stay, and don't, you know, be crazy. But well, I haven't trained this dog any crazy way to be calm. It's in her innate genetics to be calm. Um, so, you know, obviously she likes to get up and play around, but at the same time, she has very good genetics and she's predisposed to have a very good temperament to her. All the way down the belly, I like to do the same. I like to cut all this way, the whole way, and then down the legs, I go downward like this. Okay, and her tail, is actually really beautiful right now, so I'm not gonna cut her tail at all. And then I'll just scissor around her feet here. Now that I essentially have her entire body and basically almost all of her legs completely cut to the length that I like, I'm now going to use um, just these simple dog um, scissors to cut around her feet. So I like to get down and then I'm just gonna cut basically starting here, boom, 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 all the way around her feet on all four paws and then I'll start on the face. Um, her face is not very long right now, um, so I'm actually not even gonna cut the top of her head just because I like to leave it a little bit longer. Now next in about six, seven um, weeks, I'll probably give her a full head cut and then Now you can use longer scissors for this, but me personally, I do have some longer ones. I would like these scissors just a little bit more, so I choose to use these shorter scissors. You can use longer scissors, kind of just up to you and how you like it, how it turns out. Um, there's no really right or wrong way to cut, the, to do this in my opinion. All right, so I let it sit down, make sure everything looks good, and then I might, as her paw is sitting down in a natural way, I might touch it up a little bit. 
um, if there's a few little spots hanging. Come on, baby. And then I'm not gonna cut the tail, but if I do cut the tail, when I do cut the tail, um, I just basically hold it out like this, completely brush it out, get it, and then I'm just gonna cut up and down that, kind of like a golden retriever's tail. Just cut basically the bottom layer. And then I do like to cut right here and then around her back end a little bit um, so that nothing gets caught. It's the, one of the most important parts, which is now the face. Now, some people like to use um, different types of scissors to blend, all types of stuff like that, which I'll, I, I have them, but I honestly like the more straight cut instead of blending into the eyes. For example, right here, we're gonna cut right between the eyes. Literally, you're gonna cut, boom, and then boom. And then you're gonna cut across the top right of the bangs right here. So you're gonna cut across right there, and then you're gonna go boom, and then boom, right across there. It's super easy. You can do this even when you're not actually giving them a full cut, but it might grow across the face. Just give them a short little cut, it's super easy. And then around the ears, you're literally, I like to go from the, like looking at the ear like this, and then I'm just gonna cut around the ear. So I like to pull it up like this, and then I literally just cut around it. It's not rocket science, this is not hard, it's really easy. Um, and so that's basically the way that I do it. So I'll just show you here. Also very important to have a really way well behaved dog. And then so there's basically a and then I like to bring all the hair to the front because if you don't, it might get stuck back and then later on you'll see that you didn't cut everything. But you just take the scissors and you literally think about you're giving her a bowl cut. <laughs> I just cut right across there. And then on a year, I'd literally just pull it up like this. I mean, I'll kind of go back and forth, but you can either do it like this or you can pull it up like this and just cut around. Now, on the face also, some people will fade it. I like just the more, more defined straight cut. It's honestly up, just up to you on what you like. And on the face here, right under the, the chin, you're literally just gonna, it's not rocket science, I just kinda clip it to how I like it there and then just kind of clip around it, blend it in as much as you want to do it. You can use blending scissors if you'd like. I personally don't care too much for them. And that's essentially it. That's basically how I do all my dogs. Um, and I'm not gonna claim to be a professional um, by no means. But I've been breeding golden doodles for quite some time now. Um, and this is what I have found to work the best for me personally. Now, what might work for you might be completely different. You might wanna take all your dogs to the groomers and that's totally fine. Um, but me personally, I kinda like to do it myself. I think it's a good challenge just to kind of make myself better. Um, so this is what I have found works really good for me. I try to give them haircuts every, anywhere from like six to eight weeks. It's, I feel like a pretty good um, number depending. Now if they got shaved, I'll let them grow out a little bit longer. Um, but it just all depends. Now the biggest tip I can give to you other than like obviously how to do it is investing in good quality stuff. You want good clippers, good brushes, like don't cheap out on that. If you cheap out on clippers, you're gonna pay 
in the long run because you're gonna end up going to the place and getting better quality clippers. Um, so get the good price, get the good quality stuff. Trust me, I tried to get the $60 clippers and it, after maybe a few minutes, I was like, this is not gonna work. I had to go back and I spent about 300 and something dollars on a good quality um, clipper that actually cuts properly. Um, so get good clippers, some good guards, some good scissors, and um, and if you get those things honestly with YouTube and all the information out there to learn, you could do it yourself fairly easy. This is a very good example of my medium golden doodles. This is Callie right, um, right here and she's just an amazing dog. Really good temperament as you can see. Just super calm and just loving type of dog. So if you have any other questions, just drop a comment um, and thanks for watching.